A companion of the Prophet والسلام, whose name was Huzaifa radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, the others used to ask the Messenger of Allah about the good, but I used to ask him about the evil. And so I asked him, all of this information you'll find in my book, One Jamaat, One Amir, which is outside. I ask him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, after this period of goodness that we now have, will there be evil after this? He said, yes. And I asked, after that period of evil, would there be good? He said, yes, but it will not be pure, it will be tainted. And then after that, would there be evil? He said, yes. There would be people who would belong to this Ummah of Muhammad who would be inviting the Muslims into the door to the hellfire. Yeah? People belonging to our Ummah who will be inviting the Muslims to enter into the door of Jahannam. And they will be going through that door and entering into Jahannam. Meaning, those who are misguided as leaders of the community. Misguided. What should I do, O Messenger of Allah, if I am alive at that time? How can I protect myself? The hadith continues, Sahih Bukhari. He said, you must hold on to the jama'ah. And you must hold on to the Amir. But he himself, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, in another hadith in Sahih Bukhari, he anticipated that the Khilafah was going to disappear. Yeah, it is there in Sahih Bukhari. Kayfa antum? What a wonderful time that would be. Iza nazala alaykum numaryam. When the son of Mary will descend amongst you. Wa imamukum minkum. And at that time your imam would be from within your own Muslim community. Therefore, clearly anticipating that prior to this the imam would not be from within the Muslim community. Therefore the khilafah was going to disappear. How do you live at that time? You must hold on to the jama'ah and you must hold on to the Imam or the Amir. And then Hudayfa asked, O Messenger of Allah, what about if there is no Jama'ah at that time? And there is no Imam or Amir at that time. What should I do? How should I live in a world of Islam? in which all the Muslims are like sheep without a shepherd? That's the question. All the Muslims are like sheep without a shepherd, without an Amir or Imam, and an obligation to listen and obey him. And a pledge that you will listen and obey. And therefore you're living as a flock of sheep under the sh guidance of a shepherd. If there is no such thing, what should I do when we have the shopping mall version of Islam? He said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, He said, you must stay away from all the firaq, all the versions of Islam that you will find at that time. All. When there is no Imam and no Amir, will all now be designated as misguided communities who have broken away from the main body of Islam. Firaq. He says you must stay away from all those firaq. Even, after, even if you have to hold on to the stump of a tree and bite and chew it until death overtakes you. Do not be a part of that Firaq, that which is parading as Islam, but which is not Islam.